Um, hello, everybody. My name is Lou. Uh, I'm a junior this year at Wheaton College, uh, and I interned this semester as the Watershed Science Fellow at Charles River Watershed Association, or CRWA. I'm going to be honest. Um, I hear my mom's voice in my head. She wants me to be a professional. She's always saying stuff like, sit up straight, or nod when they're talking, or, you know, the best one is, shouldn't you be doing something more productive right now? <laughs> <laughs> I do appreciate her guidance. I really do. Um, but I, it can be overwhelming and discourage, it discourages me from being myself in the workplace. Truthfully, I hadn't even thought about it until my mid-semester meeting with my mentor. It was at that meeting that she had the opportunity to tell me that while she thought I was productive and professional, she didn't feel like she knew me very well and that I could talk more. I was so confused because I thought I had been plenty social. I thought I was doing amazing. Uh, at the guidance of others, um, because of this, I started taking measures to show her that I was probably talking to more people than she thought I was. But after a little while, I realized that that wasn't what she really meant. Sure, talking to more people was part of it, but what she meant was that I wasn't bringing myself to those interactions that I was having. I was taking an interest in others, but not offering my own experience and my thoughts in return. So I started looking for an opportunity to show that I had learned from this. And right when I was looking for an excuse to talk to people and show that I had learned this, uh, I saw friends giving on my Google Calendar and the staff organizer who organized the event had commented saying that this was an opportunity for everyone in the office to show what they had to offer. So immediately I knew that this was the event for me, um, for me to show what I had learned. Because after all, my roommate Andy over there has been training me to be a master chef all semester. <laughs> So I started to plan. I decided I was going to make this recipe we call Deb's Beans in my family. It's a green bean dish that's named after a family friend of ours. When I was little, we used to see Deb, her wife, and their two daughters pretty much every weekend. But now, between chemo treatments for her wife and living in different states, we just don't see them very often anymore but we still make Deb's beans for dinner sometimes as a way of sharing a meal with them. When the day came, I was so nervous. I was expecting my mom to be in my head, like screaming at me that I was talking about myself too much. But to my pleasant surprise, she wasn't doing that at all. She was concerned that I was talking about myself too much or not asking about others enough, but I knew that it was okay and that it was important for others to get to know me. So eventually her voice started to fade away. I got the chance to tell stories about myself at Friendsgiving stories about my family and about Deb's beans. I left out the bit about hearing my mom in my head though. <laughs> in the end, I learned how to balance being professional and being a person. And I learned that people value when you can be both. And I learned that there certainly is value in being professional and being a person. Thank you. Mm -hmm.